This was actually my last photo shoot of last year. A beautiful location, a fitness model. What can go wrong? I kind of liked what I did in my last video where I explained how I made five of my images. So I thought, let's do the same here. What do you think? Don't even know why I'm asking you because obviously I can do whatever I want. Let's go. Let's talk about the concept first. Nothing crazy or super original. I want to use my experience as a circus dance photographer. The fact that I love shooting these performers in unique, beautiful locations, but do it with a fitness model. So that's exactly what we did. I had to find a location. This time it was the Pavillon Joséphine in Strasbourg. It was really easy to get access to this location because, of course, I've worked there already in the past. And on this photo shoot, I had the pleasure and the honor to have an amazing athlete. Her name is Manon. It took us some time to meet, and I'm glad we finally made it happen. Gearwise, I had the Canon EOS R. Yes, you heard it right, the EOS R. And I know a lot of you are already fantasizing about the announcement that Canon made recently with the R5, which will make this EOS R obsolete in a few months. I gave my opinion on the EOS R already in the past. I'll put the link in the description box below. I know you guys love to hate this, this camera, but I think it's a very capable camera. I had with me three lenses, three EF lenses, the 70-200 f2.8, the 16-35mm f2.8, and the 24-70 f2.82 all L lenses. And of course, I had two strobes with me, two flashes, two brown color Cirrus L 800 watts. So let's take a closer look at five, six images that we made during this session. So we started with the most difficult shot of this session. Not really that difficult when you know how to do it. To make this work, you need your tripod and you need to decide early on what will be your framing and composition. I wanted three different poses, three different outfits. Once you have figured out what you wanted to do with your model, you start with the first shot, the one in the center. Little quick trick, if you want to show your model exactly where to stand for each shot, just put, you know, a little bit of tape on the floor. I used the exact same lighting setup for all the shots. I had camera right, my 90 by 120 brown color softbox, and on the opposite side, for a rim light, I used a silver umbrella for a harsher light. These following shots really simple. We used the 90 by 120 softbox facing the model to have these deep shadows facing my camera.
Well, this next one, I used the exact same setup, but I asked my model to do a little stunt here. Since I really liked the first shot, the composition and framing, I went to make another one, but with only her in the shot and not with her two clones. But to make it a little different, I decided to take it from down low, and you probably already know that this helps if you want to give your model longer legs. Instead of having both of my lights on either sides of my model, I brought them closer to me to have a more balanced exposure on, on, on my model. And I also asked her to improvise a little bit more with the poses. We were almost at the end of our session, so I thought she might feel a little bit more comfortable doing this. And to end this photo shoot, I said it on one of my previous session that I would use and bring with me a little bit more my edge mask. If you are not familiar with what the edge mask is, I've used it in the past. It's something that I put on my soft box and it helps me create these silhouettes, portrait images very easily with only one light. Of all these images, which one is your favorite and why? Tell me in the comments below. I really hope you will find inspiration in all this. Of course, complete gallery will be on my blog, so be sure to check that out. I read your comments. I asked you last week to what kind of, what genre of photography, what kind of content you wanted me to share on this platform. I'm not gonna change the type of work that I do. You know that I said it before, I think. I shoot, I film almost, not all of my shoots, but a lot of them. And sometimes I don't know what to share, but I've decided to keep the content on this channel diversified. So here we go. So that's it folks, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click on the bell button if you don't wanna miss my future post. I know I'm going to see all you guys next week, but until then, please have a good one.